Welcome to Vedic Maths Part 3, Session 2. In today's session, we'll be having four topics. First, duplex method of squaring. Next, multiplication special case. Within that, three cases. Then, next, doubling and halving. And fourth, comparison of fraction. So, let's start with the first topic of today's session, duplex method of squaring. All can see the screen, just say yes in the chat box. Okay, fine. So this is totally general method of multiple, uh, sorry, squaring. Duplex method is general method of squaring. It can be used for any number, any big number, and any type of number. Okay. So first thing first that you should know what is duplex. The duplex is represented with a say letter D. And you should know duplex of different digits, single digit, two digit, and so on. So duplex of single digit, say consider single digit is A. Okay, duplex of single digit is square of that digit. That means here yeah, A square. If there are two digits, duplex of two digits, that is A, B, say, in general, then it is 2 A, B, 2 into A into B. If there are three digits, duplex of, say, A, B, C will be 2 A, C, 2 A, C plus B square. There are four digits say A, B, C, D. Then duplex is 2 into AD, 2 into AD, 2 AD plus 2 BC. 2 BC. And if you consider duplex of five digit number A, B, C, D, E, then it is 2AE plus 2BD plus C square. 2AE, 2BD, and then middle is square. Now, this is nothing but actually the steps which you follow for crisscross. Now, if you consider this, uh, if it is say five digit number A, B, C, D, E, okay, into A, B, C, D, E, okay, then you, if you just see this, this becomes the fifth step of that crisscross. This into this, this into this, 2AE. This into this, plus this into this, 2BD. And then C into C, C square. Any doubt? So understand that this is nothing but crisscross steps. Any questions? So let's take example of just duplex, then we'll be using duplex for squaring, okay? So this is a definition of duplex. Duplex of single digit is square of that digit. Duplex of two digit is two times first digit into second digit. Duplex of ABC is two AC, first and third twice, and 
middle is square. Middle always will be square. In this case, it is exact middle. In this case, this is exact middle. Okay. For this example, this example, there is no middle. So it is two first and last and then two. If what, what I was just demonstrating is if you just see this, it is nothing but fifth step of five by five crisscross. This is a fourth step of four by four crisscross. This is third step of three by three crisscross. <clears throat> so if you consider say duplex of two, then what it says is a square, that means it is two square, that is four. Duplex of two is four. Can you tell what is duplex of four? Duplex of four. Correct part, Satrik. That is four square and that is nothing but 16. So that is single digit. If it is single digit, just square of that. Let's try two digit duplex of one, two. Well, it is I'm facing some problem with the pen. <laughs> so it is two into one into two. That is four. 2ab. So calculate duplex of 41. Duplex of 41. Correct part. Path is correct. Isra Satvik not correct. Duplex of 41 will be 2 into 4 into 1 is 8. No? Isra, what is that answer? It's not clear. Duplex of 41, I asked. Duplex of 41 is here. Yeah, 2 digit. 2 AB. 2 into 4 into 1 is 8. Any doubt, Isra Satvik answered something different. Path has answered correctly. Calculate the plex of say 63. Calculate Satvik 63. Yeah, path correct. So it is just see here. This is in general what we have put two a sorry uh, a b represents two digits. So two multiplied by first digit multiplied by two. Understand that two a b means two into a into b. Hmm? So is it clear? 2AB refers to 2 multiplied by A multiplied by B. AB refers to 2 digit. Here it is 4 and 1. So it is 2 into A refers to 4 here. B refers to 1. Hmm? So is it clear? So here it is 2 multiplied by first digit A here is 6. B is 3. 2, 6. 2 into 6 into 3, 2 into 6 is square, 12 into 3, 36. That we are going to use for squaring. No? We are going to use it for squaring. This is a, what we are learning, is a general method of squaring. So for that first, you should understand duplex. And you should know duplex of single digit, duplex of two digit, duplex of three digit, duplex of four digit. So with this, whatever you learn here, you can calculate squares up to five digit also. Okay, let's see who gives me correct answer of duplex of say one, two, two, three digit now. 
just try this. Duplex of 122. This is 122. And there's some problem with the pen. 122. Follow that formula and yeah, it's not correct. Good. Part no. Part check. 2ac plus b square. Part check your yeah. RT correct. Sattvic no. See here. ABC. This, this is the formula which you have to use for this three digit. 2ac plus b square. That means 2 into 1 into 2 plus 2 square. Middle digit is 2 b square. So 1 and 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4 and then this 4 it is 8. Hmm. So quick part, okay part has answered now. Okay try this. Duplex of 3, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2. Is the correct part? No, part try again. Part try again. Satvik correct. Isra and Satvik got correct. Part Karti check where you went wrong. No part still wrong. See here, no? two, we have already done an example here. 2AC. First digit and third digit and middle digit square. So 2 into 3 into 2. 2 AC plus B, B middle digit, 1 square. Okay, this is plus. So 2 and into 3 is 6, 6 into 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 square is 1. 13 is the answer. Hmm. What was the difficulty here? When you got different answer. 2ac plus b square. 2ac plus b square. Any difficulty? I'm not getting why you went wrong. Okay, try this. The flex of 203. 203. Good with Isra, correct. Satvik, correct. Arti, correct. Part, correct. Hmm. Two into two into three, that is six and zero square. So so 2, 2, 2 is 4, 4 into 3 is 12, not 6. Answer is 12 here. Plus 0, square is 0. So answer is 12. Okay, I think all have answered. Sorry. Try duplex of say 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, 4. No, it's wrong. Middle digit square you have to do. Hmm, correct is a good anti correct. Two into one into four. Two into one into four. And then plus three square. Plus three square. So this is eight. This is nine. Eight plus nine, seventeen. Okay, now all the answer. Now calculate duplex of say one zero two three four digit. Huh? So now you use this two AD plus two BC. Two AD two BC. Duplex of one zero two three. Hmm. 
can access so far. Yeah, Parth, correct. Satvik, you have to try again. Isra, you have to try again. Only Parth has got correct. Arti, you have to try again. Hmm. Arti, correct now. Say 2 AD. That means this. And plus 2 BC. This will be 0. 1 digit is 0, means it will be 0 in multiplication. Okay, so it is just a question of 2 into 1 into 3, and that is 6. Like this, you should know the answer directly. 2 into 1 into 3 is 6, and because there is one digit 0 here, the other part will be 0. 2 AD plus 2 BC. Any doubt? Anybody has doubt in understanding that 6 answer? Two one zero four. Next two one zero four. Shana, you go through this because already we are being delayed. If you go through this, it is clear what it is. We are referring to duplex. We will be studying how to use duplex for squaring. Yeah, Satvik correct, Isra correct, Arti no. No, Arti, Parth correct. Say 2 AD, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 4 is 16. No? Answer is 16. Yeah. 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 2 AD, 2 AD. China just here, duplex of single digit is square of that number. Duplex of two digit is 2 into A into B. Duplex of three digit is what we have here. Okay, 2AC, 2AC plus B square. There are nothing but steps of actually crisscross. Duplex of ABC is 2AD plus 2BC. Okay, so with this, we'll now try to use it for squaring. Now, this is totally general method of squaring. That is why it is very, very important. Okay, this is actually fifth method of squaring you are studying. Four methods you are studied actually in part two. Okay, so now we'll use this for squaring. Say if you just consider a simple example of, uh, okay, okay. Now I have to give formula for squares first using duplex. Single digit, you don't require any formula. A, B square. Now, to get a two-digit square using duplex, method is like this, duplex of A, duplex of AB, and duplex of B. So this, this is nothing but actually what we have done already, uh, squares of any two-digit number. Okay, so this will be A square. This will be 2AB and this will be B square. That's what we have done. 12 square, if you just remember squares of any two digit number, first digit square, sorry, first digit square, two into first digit into second digit, second digit square. Understand that it comes to same thing. So this is what we have done already as a part of squares of any two digit number. Now consider square of three digit, ABC square. So AB square, ABC square will be duplex of A, duplex of AB, duplex of ABC, duplex of BC, and then duplex of C. So this is actually exactly steps of Crisscross. If you just consider three digit by three digit, these are the steps. So five steps: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. ABC square is duplex of A, duplex of AB, duplex of ABC. That is the highest because there are three digits here. And then you reduce last two digit BC and last digit. 
sorry, square of say A, B, C, D, meaning four digit. Square of four digit A, B, C, D, it will be duplex of A, duplex of A, B, duplex of A, B, C, duplex of A, B, C, D, duplex of B, C, D, duplex of C, D, and then duplex of D. So if you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps, you know that four by four crisscross, there are seven steps. Hmm. Copy that and just say done. This is D uh, last. Hmm. So two digit square, if you are using for do with the duplex method, it comes to same thing as squares of any two digit number that you have studied. Let's just confirm. 12 square will be duplex of one, duplex of one, two, and duplex of two. Duplex of one is one square, one square is one. Duplex of one two is two into one into two that is four, and duplex of two is two square that is four, and then final answer you write from right right to left because there is double digit for everywhere here you have to take single digit at the end whatever comes here that you have to write as it is so four four one. Let's calculate twenty three square. Duplex of two, duplex of two, three, duplex of three. Duplex of two, duplex of two, three, duplex of three. Duplex of two means two square, that is four. Duplex of two, three is two into two into three. Two into two, four, four into three, twelve. And duplex of three is three square, that is nine. So answer is nine, two. This one will carry here. Anybody have doubt? So this you don't get any advantage. Because that is same as squares of any two-digit number which you are done in part two. So advantage will come for a bigger digit, or this is totally general method. You can use it for any number. Try and check whether you are getting correct answer of 32 square using this method. Try 32 square. Yeah, should I just confirm that you use this method? So duplex of three, duplex of thirty-two, duplex of two, duplex of single digit is square of it. Three square is nine. Duplex of a b is two a b two into three into two, two into three six six into two twelve. Two square is four. The answer is four. This is two. One will carry. Nine plus one. Okay, so that be correct. Okay, so our importance is to try for three digit, four digit, and higher. So let's go for this. Hmm. Consider we want to calculate square of one, two, three. Three digit. So formula is here. Duplex of one. Actually, this you don't have to write. Just to understand at the starting, I'm writing this. 
directly you have to write one square here one that way duplex of one two duplex of one two three duplex of two three and then duplex of three so this is one this is two into one into two is four this is two into one into three is six six plus this is two square six plus two square four six plus four is ten this is two into two four into three twelve and this is three square is nine so answer is nine this will have to take two carry this one that becomes 11 out of that you will put one carry one here four plus one five and one at least one five one two nine hmm. any doubt this is something new what you're learning so if you have a doubt you can ask if anybody wants me to repeat just say repeat in the chat box first Okay, this is one request for repeat. One, two, three, square, three digit square. Okay, as I'm saying, this is totally general method of squaring. You can square any number using duplex method of squaring. Duplex of one, duplex of one, two, duplex of one, two, three, duplex of two, three, and duplex of three see here duplex of a duplex of a b duplex of a b c if you have to be duplex of b c and c so when you solve you have to directly write answer duplex of one will be one duplex of one two will be two into one into two is four duplex of one two three is one into two into three that is six plus two square four six plus four ten I'm just showing you how we can write directly without referring this. Then duplex of 2, 3, 2 into 2 into 3, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 is 12. Then last duplex of 3, that is 9. Three single digit duplex is 12. So 9 next is 2. This one will carry here, giving you 11. Out of that, you'll take 1. This one will carry here, giving you 5. One five one two nine. Subject part is it clear? Subject part subject are you clear? Okay, now I have to try this. Uh, calculate square of two one three. Using this method, two one three. Very good, Isra. That's correct. One answer so far, Isra. I don't answer correctly. China, there is slight mistake. Middle digit is checked. Part correct. Two, one, three, square. 
So here, first is duplex of two, duplex of two is two square, that is four. And duplex of two, one, two into two, four, four into one is four. Then duplex of two, one, three is two into two, four, four into three is 12, 12 plus one square is 13. Then duplex of one, three is two into one into three, six. Last duplex of three is nine. Like this, you should write and next step, you should get the answer. Nine, six, three. This one will add here, five, four. Hmm. Okay. Any doubt, China, you got your mistake? Middle digit, two into two into three is 12 plus one, 13. So, okay, you should make a habit of writing like this. You just look at this directly, you should write answer to duplex. Now, see here, if you want to do, say, square of 298, 298 square. Okay, if you use this as it is, you can solve and you, can, you will get correct answer if you solve this way. But easier will be to convert into wing coulomb and solve it. So this wing coulomb, you know, 8 above 5, take complement, put dash, add 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, so 0, carry 1 here, 3. Okay, 298 square is nothing but 3, 0, bar 2 square. Now, using this duplex method for this number will be much easier than this. Okay, so this is a clear advantage of wing coulomb. Duplex of three, three square. Duplex of three, zero, one digit is zero, yes, it is zero directly, you don't have to do anything. Duplex of three, zero bar two. Two into three is six, six into minus two is minus 12, plus zero. So this is minus 12, 12 bar. Then duplex of zero bar two is zero. One number is zero, yes, it is. And finally, minus 2 square, duplex of minus 2 is minus 2 square, that is 4. So, answer is 4. This is 0 here. This is minus 2. Minus 1 will carry next step and that will remain as it is because here it is 0. So, the step, digit here is minus 1 and then 9. Now, this you have to convert to normal. 4, 0 will remain as it is. 2, Negative, take complement, reduce one minute, this will become minus two, minus two complement is eight, reduce one minute, nine minus one, eight. Eight, 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 zero, four. Any doubt? You know, at the first thing you should be clear about this wing coulomb. Any doubt about 302 bar 2? Arti, just confirm, no doubt here. Any doubt in wing coulomb? Just say yes or no, Arti. Hmm. So then it's the same, same straightforward. 3 square. Duplex of 3 is 3 square, that is 9. Duplex of A, A B, 3, 0, 3, 2 into 3 into 0. There is zero, so it is directly zero. You don't have to do calculation. Then third is duplex of three zero bar two. Two AC, two into three six, six into minus two is minus twelve. Okay. Then duplex of zero bar two. That is zero. And then last duplex of bar two means minus two square, that is four. Now try this. All of you try 197 square, convert to wing column and then try.
गुड पार्थ करेक्ट चाइना करेक्ट गुड इसरा करेक्ट So first we convert to wing column seven. Wing column is three bar. Add one nine plus one is ten. So zero carry one here. Two zero bar three. So we do it now here. Two square is four. Duplex of two zero is zero. Duplex of two zero bar three is two into two into minus three. That is minus twelve. Duplex of zero bar three is zero, and duplex of minus three is nine. This is zero. So nine. This is zero. This is bar two. This minus one will go to the next step, and it will remain here because there is zero here, and then two. So convert nine zero. Bar two complement eight reduce one is this will be minus two complement is eight reduce one is four minus one three eight eight zero nine. Okay, now tell me if this method was not known to you, then for one ninety seven which method you use? If this method is not known to you, which method you use for one ninety seven? We have studied total five methods of squaring. This is the sixth method actually. Hmm. Correct, Sathvi. Good. And the base word should come, Sathvi. That is not that is important. No, only Sathvi has answered. Yesterday's topic, no adjusted base method is near to two hundred. Arthi, this is one ninety seven is near to two hundred. So yesterday's topic, base method of adjusted base method of square, adjusted base method. Hmm? So with practice, you'll find that this is much faster. Okay. Let's take just one example for four digit. Next, oh, anybody has doubt uh, that question? Question was if this method was not known, which um, which method will use for one ninety seven? Answer is adjusted base method of squaring. Yesterday's topic, last topic. So next is say one two three one square four digits. So I'll just write the step because first time you are doing four digit duplex of one, duplex of one two, duplex of one two three, duplex of one two three one. This is all four digit you are taking. Then duplex of last three digit two three one. Duplex of last two digit that is three one, and then duplex of one. Simply so one square is one. Two into one into two is four. Two into one into three is six. Six plus two square is four. Six plus four ten. Next two into one into one is two, and two BC two into two into Six, that is twelve. Twelve plus two, fourteen. Two into two into one, that is four. And three square. Four plus three square is thirty. Two into three into one is six. And then one square is one. So answer is one six three. This one will add here five. This one will add here one. This one will add here five. And 
1515315361 any doubt Mm -hmm. Satrix so, here, duplex of single digit. The formula, full formula is here, okay? Here, duplex of one or duplex of A, then duplex of AB, then duplex of ABC, then duplex of ABCD, all four digit. And then you do reduce last three digit, last two digit, last digit. That we are done like this here, duplex of one, duplex of one, two, AB means one, two duplex of 1, 2, 3, then duplex of A, B, C, D, duplex of this all digit, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, then you have to go on reducing, 2, 3, 1, then 3, 1, and 1, then you are just finding that answer, duplex of 1 is 1 square is 1, duplex of 1, 2 is 2 into 1 into 2 is 4, duplex of 1, 2, 3 is 2 into 1 into 3, that is 6, plus 2 square, that is 4, 6 plus 4, 10. Duplex of 1, 2, 3, 1 is 2 into 1 into 1, that is 2, and plus 2 into 2 into 6, that is 12. 1 plus, sorry, 2 plus 12 is 14. 2 into 1 into 1 is 2, and this is 12. 2 plus 12, 14. 2 into 2, 4 into 1 is 4, plus 3 square, 4 plus 3 square is 13, 4 plus 9, 2 into 3 into 1 is 6, and 1 square is 1. And then you have simplified, 1, 6, 3, carry 1, this becomes 15 out of that 5, carry 1 here, 11 out of that 1, carry 1 here, 4 plus 1, 5. Mm, clear, Satvik? So we'll move to the next topic. You have to practice yourself because of time constraint. I cannot take more examples now, but you practice any difficulty you can post. So we'll move to the next topic. That is multiplication spatial case, three cases. So, this actually is partly covered in part 1, multiplication special case, where digits at tens place are the same and sum of digits, that is case 1, okay. We have three cases here, two new things you are going to learn actually. One situation we already done, case 1 is where Digits at tens place are same and sum of digits at units place is 10. For example, 43 multiplied by 47. 43 multiplied by 47. Digits at tens place are same and this sum is 10. This is case one which is already covered. So method is take this common digit, multiply with one more, Multiply the units place on the right hand side, 3 into 7, this is 20, this is 21, answer is 20, 21. So this is what you already know. Anybody is there here who does not know this method? Somebody has directly gone for part two, you may not know. Hmm. Correct is okay. Okay, Satvik, it's very easy. Learn it now. Hmm. Okay. If you're not done part one, you're not done this. Six is common. Next number is seven. One more. Okay, you take common, and this is what you get. Next is one more than this common digit. Six, one more is seven. Multiply digits at one's place on the right hand side. 6 into 7 is 42. 2 into 8 is 16. So answer is 4 to 1, 6. Any doubts, Satvik? Okay. 
further you can extend it for more digit 102 multiplied by 108 meaning sum of digits at one place is 10 and the rest all are common then you can extend the same logic take common multiply it one more 10 one more is 11 multiply digits at in its place on the right hand side this is 11 into 10 instead of 10 into 11 do 11 into 10 that is 110 this is 16 so answer is 110 Satvik, try to answer this. 994 multiplied by 996. 99 is common here. Good Satvik. Okay. So 9, 9 and 200, and this is 4 into 6. So 9, 9, 0, 0. Multiplying by 100 is just keeping those zeros and 2. Okay. So this is what was known to you. Let's go for other two cases which are new to you. So this was case 1. Now we'll go for case 2. Second case. So here I'll just write the problem. Just see whether you can understand uh, what is the logic there. Two nine eight multiplied by two zero two. So see here the meaning of case two here or second special case is sum of digits of last two digit of the number that is this is 100 case one was this sum was 10 here it is this 98 plus 2 is 100 and other part is common if you just consider last two digit of a number addition of those two numbers should be 100 and others should be common So method is like this. This okay. I hope all of you are clear. This should be hundred. We just take the last two digit of both numbers. Sum of that should be hundred, and other digits should be common. Here only other digit is two, and that is common. So take that common digit, multiply with one more. Same steps, and multiply this on the right hand side. Ninety eight into two. Two into three is six. 98 into 2, 2 into 8, 16, carry 1, 2 into 9, 18, plus 1, 19. Now the rule here is, here you should have 4 digits. So you are getting 3 digits. So 1, 0, you have to put and then join. Answer is 6, 0, 1, 9, 6. Anybody wants me to repeat, just say first. Otherwise, if you don't have doubt, try this. 309 multiplied by 391. 9 plus 91 is 100. And 3 is common here. So it satisfies the rule. Okay, there is one request for repeat. This sum, Isra, here, this sum should be 10. 98, sorry, not 10, 100. 98 plus 2 is 100. Okay, if you just take the last two digit of both numbers, sum of that should be 100 and remaining digit should be common. Now, here, remaining digit is only one digit and that is common, 2. two. So, take that common digit, multiply with the next number, same steps, and multiply these digits on the right hand side. Only another new thing here is this should be four digits. So accordingly, you put zeros and join. Parth, very good, correct. Satvik, you have to try again. China, correct. 
Sattvic, uh, you have taken 9 and 1. It is 9 and 91. Sattvic, understand your mistake. You have taken 9 and this 1. This is 91. Yeah, Arti, correct. Extra, correct. If 9 plus 91 is 100, so it satisfies our case 2. So take what is common here, multiply the next number 4, multiply this last two digits separately, 9 and 91. 0, 9 is 9. So 9, 1, the 9, multiply this way, 9, 1, the 9, and 9, 9, the 81, 1, 8, 9. Okay, we said that there should be 4 digits, so 0. 3 into 4 is 12. So answer is 1, 2, 0, 8, 1, 9. Two zero nine seven multiplied by two zero zero three. Very good, RCP. Correct. Parth, you have to try again. On the left hand side, you have taken 2. Parth, you have taken 2. It is 20. Isra, also same mistake. What is common here is not 2. 20 is common. Common is 20. Isra and Parth, you have done same mistake. You have taken 2. You have take 20. 20 is common. Yeah, China. Correct. Parts. No. Ninety-seven plus three is hundred, and remaining digits are common. That is twenty in this case. Twenty. Next number is twenty-one. Yeah, is that correct? And this side it is ninety-seven into three. So here, when you do 20 into 21, you have to do 21 into 2. 21 into 2 is 42. Put this 0 as it is. And 3 into 7 is 21. 1 carry 2. 3 into 9 is 20. so 27 plus carry 2, 29. Then we said there should be 4 digits. So 0. And then join. Partha uh, and Satvik 1, 0 is missing. The zero you have to put here because the right hand side should be always four digit. So four two zero zero two nine one. Okay, so try more problems yourself. We'll go for case three now. Third case of special case. Case three sixty two multiplied by forty two. Here it is reverse about the first. So here sum of digits at tens place should so should be ten and digits at units place should be common. Reverse case one is sum of digits at units place should be 10 and this should be common. Here it is reverse. This is 10, sum of digits at 10 place is 10, and digits at unit space are same, common. So method is like this: multiply this 6 into 4 plus this common digit and multiply digits at units place on the right hand side, 2 into 2. 6 into 4 plus this common digit. 6 into 4 is 24 plus 2 is 26. 
Here there should be two digits. So two into two is four. That you will have to write zero four, and answer is two six zero four. Any doubt? Sum of digits at tens place should be ten, and digits at units place, ones place, should be common. Six plus four is ten, and three is common. Try this. No, Isra, Isra, see ya. Right hand side should be two digits. Yeah, one, but there is a mistake. Isra, correct now. Earth here, you're adding three. China, correct. So quick, correct. Six into four plus three. Part, no, both side is a mistake. Part six into four plus three. Twenty-four plus three is twenty-seven, and the right hand side three into three. Mm. Part correct now. So twenty-four plus three is twenty-seven here. This is nine, which would write zero nine. So answer is two seven zero. Forty three. Sorry, this will be same. Seventy two. Multiplied by thirty two. Seven plus three is ten, and two is common. Seventy two multiplied by thirty two. Yeah, it's not very good. Correct. Earth correct. Good. China correct. Earth correct. Okay. So note that you can answer orally. Seven into three is twenty-one. Twenty-one plus two is twenty-three. Two into two four. That you try zero. Fifty-two multiplied by fifty-two. Five plus five is ten here. That's why it's fifty-two. Fifty-two into common. Five plus five is ten. Yeah, is that correct? Good. Ati correct. Good. China correct. Five into five is twenty-five plus two is twenty-seven, and two into two four, which are right zero. Satvik, check what is the mistake. See, as I said, check check why you went wrong. Five into five is twenty-five. Plus two is twenty-seven. That is the first part. Two into two four. That you will write zero. That we can in doubt. Five multiplied by okay. So with this, you should note that we can use it for squaring actually. So fifty-two square if actually you can use this for squaring numbers between fifty-one to Fifty-nine. Because if you take any number between fifty-one to fifty-nine, it satisfies this rule. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine, fifty-three, fifty-three. Okay. So fifty-two square is five square. That is twenty-five plus two is twenty-seven. Zero four. Fifty-three square. Five square. Twenty-five plus three is twenty-eight. Three square. That is nine. Zero nine. Fifty-four square. Five square twenty five plus four is twenty nine. Four square sixteen. Say fifty seven square. Five square twenty five plus seven is thirty two. Seven square is forty nine. Hmm? So any squares between fifty one to fifty nine you can directly do orally. 
Anybody has doubt about this? Just see this problem and understand that you can apply it for squares. 5 square plus 2 is 27 and 2 square is 4, that you will write 0, 4. 5 square 25 plus 3 is 28, 3 square is 9, 0, 9. Okay, any questions? We we'll move to the next topic. Okay, so try more examples yourselves. Moving to third topic of today's session that is doubling and how we do. Okay, making double and half, that is the concept. Doubling normal, you know that it is multiply by two and halving means making half means divide by two. Okay, so 24, if you want to double, double actually refers to multiply by two. So what we do here is individual digits like 24, you know, direct answer, but otherwise, uh, double this, double of 4 is 8, and double of 2 is 4. That is the method what we use here. 32, double is, double of 3 is 6, and double of 2 is so actually you have to do from right to left, okay? Just note that I just now referred you from right? double of two is four and double of three is six. Now if you want to do say double of 36, double of six is 12. So you write two, not 12 and carry one. Double of three is six and carry one seven. So if you consider one, two, three, you want to double of double that. Double of three is six, double of two is four, double of one is two. Double of say two, six, four. Double of 4 is 8, double of 6 is 12, so 2 carry 1, double of 2 is 4 plus carry 1, 5. Now, in this case, just understand here, instead of doing this, if you just see this number 264, okay, now when you just double 6, you get carry. So instead of that, what you can do is just take this as a one group. And this is a second group. Double of 4 is 8 and double of 26 is 52. So if you get a two digit where you can directly know the double, so prove that that will be faster than doing this. So in other words, say if you have number something like this, uh, 2, 6, 3, 2, 4, Five. Imagine this. Then you can just take two two digits here because easily you can know the double of this. I hope all of you know the double of each of this. Double of 26 is 52. Double of 32 is 64. Double of 45 is 90. You can see how fast we can get the double of that number. Okay, so if you do individually, then we carry like how we are done here. So you have to decide and group it. Okay. <clears throat> Try double of this. One, three, two, four, three, five. Right answer double of this.
Yeah, China correct, Isra correct. Good. Sanpik correct. 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 Okay, so this is 26. If you take this, this is 26. If you take this, this is 48. And this is 70. So easily you can see fast you can get. But note that always you may not get such groups. Now here it was easy groups, but consider some example, something like this, say two, six, nine, three, four. Now see here, if you take these two, you'll get three digit. Okay. So what you can do is group this, group this, and this you take individual. So uh, again, I made a mistake here by putting answers like this. You should put always from right to left. 34 double is 68. Double of 9 is 18. So 8 carry 1 for double of 26. Double of 26 is 52 plus 1 is 52. So accordingly, you have to group. Doubling 69 may be difficult, but 26 is very easy. That is 52 plus there is a carry one of double of nine. Okay, so make groups as per your convenient as groups which you easily you can write the double and go from right to left. Okay, so this was doubling and having this making it half. Let's take example of making up and then we'll see where you can use it. Okay. So question. First we are learning this concept and then we'll use it. Twenty-four divided by two. Making half means divided by two. Okay, so this answer you know easily, but then you can again do it as we are done double half each digit okay but here you have to go from left to right sorry uh, here you have to go from uh, yeah here you have to go from left to right and here we said you have to start from right and go to so where there is a carry then you have to add to the left here it is reverse so you have to make half of two that is one half of four that is two Now, why we have to go from left to right is I'll clarify with the next example. Say 34 divided by 2. So divided. So half of 3 is 1, carry 1, or remainder is 1. So now you get 14 here. So you do half of 14 and not 4, and that is 7. Is it clear? Half of 3 is 1, 1 carry that goes as 14, 14 half is 7. Three, two, six divided by two. 3, half is 1, carry 1, so it must 12, half of 12 is 6, half of 6 is 3. So you can see that it, you can do it quite fast. Now here again, you can use that concept which we have referred of grouping. 3, 2, 6. Okay, instead of having that carry, you can just group it such that without carry, you get a double. So 32 you can group. Hmm? 32 half is 16. Half of 6 is 3. Is it clear? So 32 you can group and directly write 16 and half of 6 is 3. Try this 5 to 8. Yeah, uh, Satvik, China, 
is still an upper current. So here again, you can club this. 52 is 26. Half of 8 is 4. Okay, but 6, 2, 4, 8, 4, 8, 8. Try this. 6, 2, 4, 8, 8. Part correct, empty correct, China correct. So here grouping can be 62, 48, and 8 separate. 62 divided by 2 is half of 62 is 31, half of 48 is 24, and half of 8 is 3, 1, 2, 4, 4. Okay. So now let's see where you can use it. So one use is very clear whenever you want to divide by 2 or multiply by 2 instead of actually multiplying you can use this method. Other is when you want to multiply by 4 or 8 you can do series of doubling or series of halving. See if you want to multiply by 4 that can be written as 2 into 2 multiply by 2 again multiply by 2. Multiply by 4 is same as multiply by 2 and again multiply by 2. Okay. So, first is a direct use. Just whenever you want to multiply by 2, you can use this method. But consider this number. Uh, I will take a simple number. 2, 1, 3. Multiplied by 4. So, multiply by 4 is multiplying by 2 twice. Means doubling twice. So, first double here. It will be. Uh, 13 is 26, 2 is 4, again double, 26 is 52, 4 is 8. So answer of this is 852. Okay, so instead of multiplying by 4, we are doing doubling twice. Anybody has doubt? 2, 1, 3, double is 4, 2, 6, 4, 2, 6, double is 852. So, because we have taken a group here, it becomes easier. Here, what I have done is taken this group here 21. Sorry, not I have not taken 21, actually, I have taken 13. 13 and 2 separate. So, 13 into 2 is 26. Here you have to go from right to left and then double of 2 is 4. Now, this is multiplied by 4. So, doubling means you have multiplied by 2. So, again you have to multiply by. Multiplied by 4 is multiplied by 2 two times. So, it's like doubling twice. <coughs> double of 13 is 26. Double of 2 is 4. Double of 26 is 52. Double of 4 is Eight. Try this using this method. Yeah, this is correct. So here you'll have to take this as a block. Double of 2 is 4. Double of 15 is 30. So again you have to double. Double with this group. Double of 4 is 8. Double of 30 is 152 into 4 is 608. Okay. So if you want to multiply by 8, then you have to multiply it, sorry, double it three times. Multiplying by eight is doubling three times. 
okay same way you can use for dividing by 4 dividing by 8 so let's take example dash Sixty-four divided by sorry, divided by four. So divided by four means make half two times. Sixty-four half is six, half is three. This is two. Again half. So here thirty-two means in this case you know easily half of thirty-two is sixteen. But otherwise three is one carry one. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 64 divided by 4 is 16. Yeah, good, Isra. Three, 4, 3, 2, 4 divided by 4. Uh, the wideness it will be less number no? it's not try again. three to four divided by four when you are dividing the number answer has to be less yeah china correct or the correct so here you take 32 32 half is 16 four half is two 16 half is 8, 2 half is 1, 81. Okay, Iska. Three, two, four, eight divided by 4. Yeah, is there a correct? Are the correct? So you can group like this. So divide by four means you have to make half two times. 32 half is 16, 48 half is 24. Again, you have to make half, half of 16 is 8, and half of 24 is 12. Good. All I do answered correctly. Okay, so if you have to divide by eight, you we'll make half three times. Okay, so if you don't divide by eight, again you have to make half. So you will take 12 here, and there here you have to write 0, 06. And this is 4. 12, you will write 0, 06. And Okay, so if you have to do this, if it was three two four eight divided by eight, the answer would be four zero six. So this is one application. There is one more application for this doubling and arguing. That is when you are say multiplying by five. When you are multiplying by five, or when you are multiplying by twenty five. Yeah, multiplying by one two five. Okay. So instead of five, it can be fifteen. Instead of twenty-five, it can be two fifty, and so on. I'm not taking all those possibilities. So what you have to do is instead of multiplying by five, multiplying by five can be converted as multiplying by ten and dividing by two. Any doubt? Ten divided by two is five. Multiplying by 25 okay, can be considered as multiply by 100 and divide by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 24. Multiplying by 125 can be done as multiply by 1000 and divide by 8. 1000 divided by 8 is 125. Any doubt? 
Now see here, if you have to do is this two, three, two, I'll take simple example, multiplied by five. What you are saying is, first multiply by 10. If you multiply by 10, this becomes three, two, three, two, zero. You're done multiply by 10 and then divide by two, half. Half of two is one, half of 32 is 16 and zero remains as it is. One, one, six, zero. Okay, multiplying by pi is nothing but multiply by 10, divide by two. Divide by two we are taking because you have straight faster method of making half. Half of two, three, two, half of two is one, half of 32 is 16. Is it clear? Do this six four eight into five. Hmm. Correct is good. Yeah, so what you can actually do is just take this and make it half and then put zero. Here I put zero first and then used, but other, other ways just make this half and then <coughs> 64 half is 32, half of 8 is 4 and then put zero. Okay, so whether you multiply by 10 first or afterward, it does not. Okay, so like this, definitely multiplying by 5, if you consider actual multiplication of 5, this will be much faster. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I said already that you can extend this for 50, 500, 250, 2500 and so on. I'm not taking all combination because of time constraint. Let's take one example of multiplying by 25. Okay, I'll take like the easy one, 28 will take to make it easy. You can do that one, two, three also. <laughs> 128 multiplied by five. So multiplied by five is, sorry, 25 is multiplied by 100 divided by four. So you have to make this half two times. Dividing by four means making half twice. Okay. So half of 12 is six, half of four, eight is four. Again, half, that is 32. And then you have to multiply by 100. So answer is 32 into 100, yeah, 3200. Yeah, very good, China, but Okay, so you understood concept. So try this more example yourself. Okay, same way, exactly same way. It will be divide by five, divide by twenty-five, divide by one twenty-five. Same concept you can use. divide by 5 sorry will be multiply by 2 reverse it will be reverse of this and divide by 10 okay divide by 25 will be multiplied by 4 and divide by 100 divide by 1 to 5 will be multiplied by 8 and divide by 10. So dividing by 10, 100,000, you should note that it is very easy, say for 25 divided by 10, means you have to just place the decimal part, 2.5. Whatever is number of zeros, those many places, you have to start from right and place the decimal. So 812 divided by 100 will be two zeros. So one to 8.12. Any, anybody has doubt? So you just reverse of this. Divide by 5 means multiply by 2 and then divide by 10. Okay. So 
2 divided by 10 is nothing but 1 upon 5, that is divided by 5. 4 divided by 100 means 1 upon 25. 8 divided by, sorry, this is 1000. Huh? 1000, yeah. So 8 divided by 1000 means 1 to 5. Satvi, you are referring this. Thank you, Satvi. Yeah, so I put 100, it was 1000. So any doubt, try example yourself because we have already time up. We'll just quickly do that last topic. So try more examples yourself. This is the first time it is introduced in part three. The last topic we'll try to do within five minutes. So just wait for some comparison of fractions. Okay, comparison of fractions. Basically to find which is greatest fraction or smallest fraction. So consider say example. Okay, so consider this example. Two by three. And so take two uh, fractions and you have to find which is greater. Three upon five. Okay, so there are two fractions given, you have to identify which is greater. Or same concept you can use for finding which is smaller. So it just cross multiply like this to answer this. Multiply this with this and multiply this with this and write those answers on the top. This is 2 into 5 is 10, referring to this fraction and 3 into 3 is 9. Now, whichever number is greater, accordingly, you decide which is greater fraction. So, in this case, 10 is greater than 9. So, greater fraction out of the 2 is 2 by 3. Okay, so, we are using cross multiplication. This, this, whichever is greater out of these two values, that is a greater fraction. 4 upon 7 and 3 upon 5. Hmm, so here, this is 20, this is 21, so this is greater. 5 into 4 is 20, 7 into 3 is 21, so this is 20, this is 21, so this is greater. 3 upon 4 and 3 upon 10, sorry, okay, take this, this is very clear actually. 3 upon 4, 3 upon 10. This is 30, this is 12, so this is greater. Next, 4 upon 15 and 3 upon 11. Just tell first or second in the, just write in the check of first or second. Correct, Isra. Correct. China, correct. Satvik, no. See here. Satvik, 11 into 4 is 44. This will be 44 here. Whereas here, 15 into 3 is 45. So, second is greater. Satvik, is it clear? This is 44, this is 45. 45 is greater, so this fraction is greater. 13 upon 15. 3 upon 4. Just write first. Is it? Yeah, it's not connect. Sati correct. China correct. Sati correct. Okay. 13 into 4 is 52. And here, 15 into 3 is 45. So, 52 is greater than 45. So, first is better. Okay. So, now we'll just take one more example of comparing three fractions. So, what we have done is two fractions. So, three fractions is we'll just compare two at a time. So, it is the same thing. So, consider this example. So, you have got a fraction 2 upon 3 
phi upon 6 and phi upon 9. So we want to find greatest out of the three now. So, but we all, you know the logic for two. So just check here. This is 12, this is 15. So this is greater out of these two. If you just compare this, this is 12, 6 into 2 is 12, 3 into 5 is 15. So this is greater. So if you want to write steps, this is 6 into 2 is 12 here. This is 3 into 5 is 15. So this is greater. Now you compare this. This is 9 into 5 is 45. And this is 6 into 5 is 30. So answer is 6 into 6 divided by 6 upon 5. Not divided. 6 upon 5 is the highest. Okay. By comparing this two, we found that this is greater, and then we are comparing it. So try this. Tell me answer in the chat box first, second, or third. Okay. So first fraction is three upon four, second fraction is five upon eight, and third is seven upon twelve. Just answer in chat box first, second, or third. No part, try again. Yeah, Shaina, correct part, no. No, Isra, Satrik, not correct. Hmm. Okay, only I think Shaina got correct. It's here, all of you see here. This is 3 into 8 is 24 here. And 4 into 5 is 20. So this is out now. Now you have to compare this and this. So 3 into 12 is 36 here. 4 into 7 is 28 here. So first is the greatest. Arti, check why you went wrong. Okay, I'll explain this again because many have answered wrong. 3 into 4, 5 into 8, and 7 into 12. Sorry, 7 by 12. This cross multiplication is the method here. This is 3 into 8 is 24. 4 into 5 is 20. So if you compare these two, this is out now. Now you have to compare this and this. So 3 into 12 is 36 here. 4 into 7 is 28. 36 is greater than 28. So answer is 3 by 4. Any doubt? Anybody wants me to explain again? I'm just asking this because many have answered wrong. Okay, I want that next all should get correct. Do it carefully. Three upon four, four upon five, and seven upon ten. First, second, or third. First, second, or third. Which is the greatest? Your answer. This is no. Okay. Making mistake. China, correct. Arti, correct. Part, no. No part. <laughs> See, part they are finding greatest, you are done, uh, not smallest. See a part. 5 into 3 is 15. 4 into 4 is 16. So this is out now. You will compare this and this. So remove this. 4 into 10 is 40 here. 5 into 7 is 35. So very clear. 40 is greater than 35. So answer for us is 4 upon 4. Any doubt those who got wrong? Okay, I wanted at least last all should get correct. 7 divided by 12. Take your time, but I wanted all should get correct. 5 divided by 8 and 2 divided by 9.
yeah, good, correct, part correct. China, correct. See, you answered correctly. Uh, Isra, Parth, China, Satvik, correct. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is 7 into 8 is 56. And this is 12 into 5 is 60. So this is out. So you have to compare this to 5 into 9 is 45. 8 into 4 is 32. So 45 greater than 32. So answer is 5 by 8. Any doubt? Thank you.